car were to do this, they come in in the morning, plug in their car, and go to work, and come back. So it would be more. They wouldn't have the two-hour limit because their car wouldn't charge up in two hours. Um, is that sort of the way the w these no, things work? No, it doesn't have to work that way. I mean, you can come. Somebody can come for a meeting, park your electric car there, plug it in. You know, mm -hmm. use it for 20 minutes, use it for a half hour or whatever, and then go someplace else. But you would have. You wouldn't want people. Uh, I mean, you wouldn't want someone to come well, in. Well, that's what I want. For, that's sort of. I'm sort of. Painting the worst yeah, case scenario, they have, what I wouldn't like to say. And would the space be excluded right. just for someone who has an electric car and yes, with, our parking, with our parking? Yes, it would. With our parking, are. with our parking so limited anyway. Mm -hmm. I like the idea of electric cars, but I just but don't, I don't know if it's going right. to be. Right, and then who's policing that? Somebody's got to be looking at that. Um, yeah. And what's not clear from this is is would we be expected? It's the cost to purchase an install station is fifteen to eighteen thousand. So are they looking to us to pay that? Oh no, they, they they're trying to get a grant or a, you know some grant money or uh -huh. put on RFP. They just um, they're more likely to get a grant if they are with community partners uh -huh. um, like the school district and the library uh, mm -hmm. to be able to make it more of a village wide effort. Are they considering so. quit? And I don't know enough about these. Mm -hmm. what the I mean, I've seen them at different places. Like, of course, the village has their own parking lot right next to ours. Are they considering that spot? Uh, no, they did not ask for that spot. Mm -hmm. They asked for our lot. I think that they perhaps want to leave that spot as is as a potential development opportunity later in the yeah. future. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that's the ideal spot next door. <laughs> there is a, there is a is. charging station in the new, there are actually two charging stations in the new apartment building, and I'm not sure if those are going to be limited to people who live in Residence. the apartment, uh -huh. Uh -huh. or if, say, there's a restaurant, and because that's the, some of the, I'm not sure, you know what, they may be on the inside. They may, it may be like only for, for, um, it is only for it's tenants, really I dense. think. But they do have, they actually have two charging stations. And there's there. one over by Foodstuffs, I know, which is only rarely used. You mean the one in Evanston? Yeah. And by the, in the library parking in Evanston. Mm -hmm. And you, there, this isn't an action item. You don't have to commit to anything. Uh -huh. It's a discussion item. Just, uh, you know, they ask if we want to proceed with, you know, <clears throat> in being part of this project or not. And, you know, at any mm -hmm. point, you can decide, no, we're done. I mean, but um, if you already know that you're done and don't want to proceed, then we should let them know. Because it says a full charge or for most versa. cars is about four hours, but most mm -hmm. don't charge they more go than for an, an hour. hour. Yeah, yeah. But then it's a dedicated space. Yes, yeah, so it's, it's like a Jan's space. Like it's, it's a space. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've already got, I don't know how many handicapped spaces, and then we have um, this space. It's just, I mean, our space. Our parking lot is just so often full that I just, that's my main concern is that our space is Yeah, and you are, can't do it so that you can only use it at, you know, 9 o'clock at night or, or, or On the other hand, the this, you know, you could use like that, that space way in the corner that is not used for, the, you know. The least used space. The least used the space, right? The for the compact. By the drop boxes. The by the right. The drop boxes. So you, you okay. could do that. Um, hmm. Ah, okay. Hypothetically, so <laughs> I, I, I would say I wonder if I it might. has to be closer to the building to to make it more accessible to the electrical lines because I, I don't think that's true because the 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 one at Foodstuffs mm -hmm. and at the library at Evanston they're just but right it's got to be the, on an electric line. Right? It's not just getting the electricity out of the ground. It's mm -hmm. got to be on an electric line. The pens there's those big power lines yeah. back there. I mean, there's a right. big power line right at the corner mm -hmm. of the parking lot. The port parking lot. I'd suggest a couple things. Uh, I'm going to share a little anecdote that's a bit of a digression. Uh, I actually drafted a bill this year that authorized the use of the motor fuel tax for electric charging stations, and it passed the legislature, and the governor vetoed it. Uh, so uh, had he signed it, uh, we would have the village would have been able to use the motor fuel tax to pay for these things. So I just wanted to express my little frustration <laughs> about one of my little projects this year that happened to be right up this alley. Yeah. Um, but... Um, I think uh, the library and the village um, need to be uh, more open and collaborative when it comes to parking. This presents a unique opportunity to try to have a friendlier relationship institutionally. C commits us to nothing. Except the parking space. It well, no, it, this commits oh. us to nothing. To say, yes, we're interested, we love the concept, 
we've got issues to work out and when we get to details we reserve the right not to do it but if you're in this initial I you know it sounds like they're in the initial conceptual stage of shopping around for money and looking for community partner there is zero downside as I see it to us saying we'd love to be a community partner of course when we have to get to brass tacks we've got some conversations and of course we need to talk publicly about our parking situation with the village so I think mm -hmm. it's a it's to our institutional advantage to be very receptive and warm and collaborative to their outreach and say great initiative sign us up as a community partner because it ultimately means nothing but when we get to the details we'll figure it out but I, mm -hmm. I think we ought to warmly reciprocate the idea mm -hmm. of uh, partnering on anything having to do with parking I think that's that's well said and it looks like they're also look reaching out to the park district and the school districts mm -hmm. um, and you know what have an electric car and you know it is very nice to be able to charge it anywhere you could charge it I mean so. ultimately we're all, we're all gonna have electric cars right it's coming right right but I you know whether it's gonna be this model and this is how it's gonna be done I mean I live yeah, in this charge point that's pretty I mean that's what most of them are and you actually you actually pay charge points so I don't know who would actually get any of that revenue well we don't pay for it you know we well, no I'm just pay. talking about um, yeah. <laughs> so okay. Anyway, okay. I mean, I may I agree with Dan. Maybe mm -hmm. maybe we do just just talk, continue talking. Something. I'm convinced someday we're all going to have electric self-driving cars, and they're yes, just very gonna, soon they're going <laughs> to drop us off here and pick us up. I don't That's know. too independently scary thought. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess the question is: Do we continue the conversation, sure. or do we not? Absolutely. Continue I, the I think I like Dan's approach. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, Next item, not actually on the agenda, uh, although Heather is going to talk about it. Um, just an FYI, Heather has been talking, like, for months uh, about a salary survey and salary study and mm -hmm. employee and stuff. Oh, yeah. And it's mm -hmm. at the point right now where I would like to have a committee meeting. Um, rather than appointing a personnel committee, which is a committee of the whole, just mm -hmm. to yeah. sit and go through the reason, let Heather go through the results of that, yeah. you know, discuss implications, questions, how things came out. Mm -hmm. uh, we're starting going into the next budget cycle, and this would be a big part of that. So um, sometime probably before the next board meeting in February, mm -hmm. Cynthia will work her magic and come up with a date that most of us can meet, including the evenings, you know, we need to put those on the agenda, you know, yeah. as, as possible. February. Right? February. I mean, not January, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And um, so that we can get an understanding of how that's going to... That sounds good. There's some dis decisions we have, probably have to make, too. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. uh, with that, move on to the director's report. All right. So Jennifer Partell is our new creative experiences coordinator. She's really hit the ground running. She comes from a really interesting background. She did arts administration, particularly in the music field, mm. as well as worked for uh, the city parks department doing programming. So um, all of that experience is very applicable to mm -hmm. her job here <laughs> at the at the library. So we're very excited about having her. Mm -hmm. um, we did a first round of HR interviews, did not have a clear finalist, so I decided to reopen the search. I think the timing was really not good. It was December, mm -hmm. um, <coughs> really difficult time to get candidates. So um, we're trying again, and the Management Association is helping us with the recruitment process, um, helping screen candidates and, and recruit candidates from several different sites. Um, so we're doing that right now. Um, we also, because Barb is already part-time, mm -hmm. starting January 2nd, um, I needed to figure out a way to bridge those HR services. So we have hired a consultant. His name is Bob, <laughs> Bob Baxa. And he is here two days a week. And he is from the Management Association. So he helps us with um, helping keep the, the basics of HR running until we do get somebody in, the, in this position. So that way, um, employees still have access to information about their benefits. And we have personnel records management going and things like that. So um, 
You already talked about the salary grade project. We are in the end stages of that. It's been a tremendously huge project. Um, a lot more complicated than I had originally thought because um, just we have we have a lot of employees, but we also have several people who do multiple jobs, <laughs> like they're uh -huh. hybrid jobs. You know, they, they might be crossing over into different departments, things like that. So we're trying to, to make sure all of that is uh, clarified and that we have an equitable compensation structure based upon the benchmarking data that is really fresh. The benchmarking data came um, from a survey that was done just this past year, so it's really mm -hmm. current. And what is the benchmarking? Can you just tell me what that is? Benchmarking, yes. Yeah. So they benchmarked against um, other libraries mm -hmm. of our similar size, other libraries of our similar budget. Mm -hmm. um, they also benchmarked just not just libraries, but general marketing mm -hmm. um, data from this area of northern Illinois. Mm -hmm. So huh. yeah. um, when we have this ad hoc meeting, I'll show you, they, they break it down where each um, survey came from. Mm -hmm. So okay. you can, we can identify that. Um, and that is also where we'll have an updated org chart, which I know Lisa asked for in a prior meeting. I will, we're working on that updated org chart for you. Uh, so we have that. The per capita applications are submitted. Very grateful for that, even though we have not received last year's per capita money yet. Mm -hmm. So we had to write well, how we used the money that we didn't get. Didn't get. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yes. So, yeah, that was fun. Can I just uh, ask, uh, is that grant application, like, did you consider it unreasonably long? Or sort of the, the typical reports that we submit to the state, do you kind of feel like it's excessive paperwork? No, I don't think it's, I mean, that particular one's not that bad. Because a lot of it doesn't change year to year. I mean, right. some things change, but is there I bet Cynthia fills it out, right? Right. <laughs> yeah. they're, it's no, not that bad. No, they're not that complicated. Yeah. And they're sort of um, interesting. If you, if you sit there and read them, there's a lot of information packed into them. Yeah. Right. So we have a preliminary landscaping plan. If you came in through the front door, then you will have seen uh -huh. it in the lob, in the vestibule. And we have post-it notes for people to write their suggestions and ideas on it. Mm -hmm. um, we have a steering committee meeting tomorrow. It has been publicly posted because we know we're going to have three of you there. So, But anyone is welcome to come if more of you can attend. Uh, that's coming along great. I just found out that Pace does not need to move, will not move the bus shelter mm -hmm. um, onto our property or renovate it because they're um, reducing that line anyway. So they might so, just be taking, getting rid of it at some point? Or? or it might just stay. I don't know what they do with... It's a horrible, completely inaccessible... Yeah, but they're reducing the bus line so they don't ha they don't want to invest in the infrastructure of a new shelter at all. That's too bad. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, if you are in any kind of, you know, assisted, you know, you would probably or be or taking. We, you could not get well. into that. You cannot use that shelter at all. You can't get into it. You can't get out of it. Um, no wheelchair would ever fit in it. Um, th but if it, you were, but if you were uh, handicapped, <coughs> handicapped, they've got the um, you can use the pace mm -hmm. vehicles for the handicapped and mm -hmm. bring them right to the front. True. Yeah, that's true. So for the landscaping plan, it is uh -huh. in your packet, so you can see her mm -hmm. vision and drawings. Uh, I think it, you know it shows sort of the inspiration of everything. Um, there are certainly a lot of details to be worked out, but she gave us some cost estimates. So those are on the back there. So I wanted you to make sure to mm -hmm. take a look at those. Um, it's broken down into areas, so we can stage this project if we want. Right. You know, so um, that's just something to consider moving forward. And questions about landscaping? Is that um, on the pace stuff? Um, should we think about, I mean, assuming they're not, I don't think they're going to cut the line, uh, and we should probably get some formal communication from Pace. It's, it's important to us, um, you know, that line. Um, but should we be thinking about putting up our own, like, appropriate bus shelter? I just, I 
think uh, it's kind of dead in the water. I think you'd hate just to because use because I used to ride the 421, but it only runs during school time mm -hmm. and rush hour. Yeah, it's really like Loyola and Nutria. And yeah. they're reducing West, it West. even more. So That's really yeah, I just think. I mean, I just think it's. Yeah, it's real. I don't think it's our place to put up bus shelters. Mm -hmm. Well, if we put up a parking lot. Well, but the parking lot's for people to come to the library and park. Wouldn't I mean, I think it's. I think it's Pace. That's Nobody's Pace's responsibility. But I think I think there are things we can do to encourage biking to the library. Yeah. Certainly. Right. That's and um, you know that could be part. That's that's a big part of our landscaping plan is to really think about bikes and redoing the bike racks and the book bike's going to launch and we hope to be involved in the any mm -hmm. you know in the bike. Uh, what's the organization of Ryrie? Well, not bike. Oh, there's bike will met. Bike will met. Uh, right. Things mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. The bus shelter also has legal issues associated with it in terms of right. where it's placed and who controls. Right, and I'm pretty sure that would be pretty expensive. The parkway versus the yeah. You know, I mean, there are yeah. some there are some technical issues that would have to be addressed as well. 